He started at the very back of the field at the beginning of the Kodak 250. Now the number 22 of Scott Steckley, the current Castro points leader, now leads here in St. Estache on lap 213. Down into turn one, DJ Kennington, he's out there in no man's land. You certainly don't want to be outside, but he got a break. He's going to get down to the bottom. He wanted to get down to the bottom as quickly as he could, and he did just that. Now it's Ron Beauchamp Jr. struggling for traction up high. John Gunn having a whale of a race in that Centennial Dodge number 12 up into third spot. Well, the performance is there tonight. Gord Coates, the owner of that race car and Centennial Dodge Chrysler, has to be proud of how that team has got their stuff together. And Andrew Ranger in the Walmart tie, number 27, gets underneath the little bar 60. Ron Moshoff Jr., he'll take that spot away. And there's the 2 with Kerry Mix coming back after that late pit stop. Side by side coming off a of turn two. Beauchamp is failing off the pace just a little bit, but there's still lots of racing left. The man of the season at the head of the field here in the Kodak 250. It's Scott Steckley continuing to tick off laps of the front. Andrew Ranger battling with the 0-2 of Kerry Mix for a fourth spot. Well, that battle right there probably got this whole grandstand standing up cheering for their hometown boy. And we're getting word that the four car has electrical issues. Don Thompson Jr. is behind the wall, but the crew is making repairs. He'll try and get back out before the night is done. Gotta pick it up a bit, bud. That's Sammy Putnam telling his driver, John Gunn, you gotta pick it up, they're coming. Well, John Gunn has been doing that all night long in the 12 car, sitting nicely inside the top three as the one and the 19 battle for nine spot. You see the body damage on the one car, Peter Gibbons. The car was fast just a few laps ago. It doesn't look like that damage has affected it too much. No, I've seen this Peter Gibbons movie before. He got all tore up like this a couple years ago, went to the back and, and just trounced the field. And Peter Gibbons is one of the veterans who can take a tour. Whoa, contact! The 27 just punched the 12 out of the way. Ranger into the back of John Gunn. Caution, flag flies. You see the light come on there in corner number two as John Gunn searches for an opening to get back around. But this is going to hurt the 12 team. Well, the one man's demise. Here, let's have a look at the replay. Here we go, down in turn one, and the 27 just drives in the back of him, picks the rear wheels up, and around he goes. John Gunn really had no chance on that one as Andrew Ranger now sits in third spot when they're all chasing the 22 of Scott Steckley. Welcome back to the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series on TSN. The 22 Dodge of Scott Steckley leads the Kodak 250 with 20 laps to go. Down into turn one, one more time. The 22 in the bottom, the 17 in the top. The 27 sits in third, and I still don't know why the NASCAR didn't put a move on him for spinning the 12 car. Yeah, possibly could have been penalties there, but NASCAR decided to keep the black flag in their pocket as Andrew Ranger continues on in third spot. DJ Kennington in second as we ride on board the Castrol Dodge. Oh, you can hear DJ Kennington, that Dodge party, spinning the tires up off the corner. Chasing the 22 of Scott Steckley, who has marched all the way from the tail of the field. Really, anything he got today would have been just gravy for the 22 team. And here's a good look at a young fellow who's mustered from the back as well. That car was in the fence earlier on. Take a look at his eyes. He's concentrating really hard. Gary Mix taking a look underneath the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick doing a whale of a job as well in that 84 car. He's up into fourth spot 17 laps to go now here in the Kodak 250 in St. Stash. Oh, a little action there. The one gets into the back of the 60, gets squirrely, and the 91 is able to steal a spot. Patrick LaPearl driving the 91 in his first ever NASCAR Canadian Tire Series race in seventh spot underneath the one car. Peter Gibbons, a little rub on the way by as LaPearl, LaPearl takes over that spot. Well, through the smoke one more time down the back stretch, it's the 27 and the 84. With the 0-2 of Kerry Mix not too far behind, looks like Mix is a little bit quicker than the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick trying to go through. But how about the 91 of Patrick LaPearl doing a wonderful job here tonight? Well, he's got a lot of laps here too. He's the defending ACT champion, and he's won a lot of races here. Didn't take him long to figure out these NASCAR Canadian Tire Series cars. He started 17th. He's currently up in seventh spot. Down the front stretch one more time. They go around the lap car of Jason White from beautiful British Columbia. The Zimmer Wheaton Monte Carlo again learning all these tracks out east as Jason White now with the troubles on Alex Tagliani. You know what? He's going to have a decent day as far as the rookie of the year standings go. Well, that's good. One man's misfortune is another man's fortune. Still, the 22 of Scott Steckley leads the Kodak 250.
50 here at St. Estache going around lap traffic. Once again, as Miguel de Hamel pulls the eight car down to the inside and lets the leaders go by. Steckley leads, Kennington runs second, but a huge gap between the two and Todd standing by in the Castro pit. Fellas just talked to Dave White, crew chief for DJ Kennington. He was close on that last restart, but DJ doesn't have anything for that 22 car. He's been hooked up all year, and he's pulling out a lead again, trying to close out on another victory. Well, that's right, Todd. When the speed gods are with you, everything happens just right, and the speed gods are with the 22. There is the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick. We talked about his misfortune earlier on in this race as Kerry Mix goes to work on the driver of the 84, the 02 BDI Ford Fusion. Takes a look underneath, and there goes a slide from the 84 of Fitzpatrick. He gathers it back up, and Mix goes through. Uh, J.R. was pedaling the throttle hard, trying to keep that car underneath him, but it allowed the 02 of Kerry Mix to steal the spot. And Mix immediately takes a look at the 27 of Andrew Ranger, but the man of the hour continues to be the 22 of Scott. Scott Steckley, we sound like a broken record this 2008 season. Every oval that we've run on, Steckley has been at the front of the field. He's got two wins already, two laps to go here in the Kodak 250 as the 02 of Gary Mix dives underneath the 27 of Andrew Ranger for third. Oh, those two have had a lot of history in the closing laps of the races last year, and that one was fairly clean. Kerry Mix steals the spot. So Ranger will try to battle back with now one lap to go as Scott Steckley sees the white flag in the Kodak 250 around the lap car of Dave Whitlock down the back straightaway for the final time. Steckley, who has won two oval course races so far this season, he came fourth on the road course at Mosport. Off a of turn four, mark it three wins this season for Scott Steckley. Oh, 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 oh. What a great job, Randy Steckley and crew, very, very happy with their driver. Remember, they started shotgun on the field, had to make hasty repairs before the green. And with his third win of the season, Milverton, Ontario, Scott Steckley gathers another Dodge winning moment. Welcome back to the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series. Todd is standing by in victory lane with a familiar face. Helmet and Hans device off, cold drink going in, and once again, Scott Steckley is jumping up and waving the checkered flag in the air to celebrate another victory. Three out of four this year as he gets congratulations from Gary Mix and DJ Kennington, who will share the podium with him momentarily. And Scott, this one was far from routine. Yeah, you were out in front at the end of it, but you got off to a rough start with a problem with that oil sensor, and guys were saying you were complaining this car was a bit tight all night long. Yeah, the car was tight, but man, we adjusted on it. Uh, we start, came right from the back. We passed pretty well every car out there. The car, it was awesome. It just This crew's doing a great job. Uh, we got everything working great. I got to thank Herb, Tow Truck in a Box, all our sponsors. Uh, all the crew, family, everybody supports us. It's just Go, been great. Going from back to front, is this win more satisfying than some of the others? Oh, definitely. When you can uh, go from the back to the front on a track that nobody can pass at, it's it's great. Uh, this car was just awesome. Scott Steckley, another win, extends his points lead in the championship. I'd hate to see it when he gets that car absolutely perfect. Kerry Max coming home third tonight. J.R. Fitzpatrick soldiering home to a fifth place finish. Patrick LaPearl coming home eighth. And how about Doug Brown with a top ten and Todd standing by with your second place finisher. DJ Kennington, boy, you had that mulligan in the first race of the year, but we've been finding you on the podium ever since, and that's really helping you out. Yeah, the only problem is Scott's usually on the podium one spot ahead of us every week. Man, oh, man, has he got that thing hooked up. But... Uh, Congratulations to him. He's a good guy. and uh, I mean, the Castro Dodge was awesome tonight, so I, I can't complain. We just needed a little more forward bite at the end there, and we might have had something for Scott. But uh, Castro, MC Squared, uh, everybody who helps us out, Mopar, SM Freight, thanks a lot, guys. And uh, we'll keep digging. We'll catch him yet. Well done. Well done for sure. DJ Kennington's strong podium performance has moved him into second place in the Castro points. And as Steckley continues to win, it's making this championship very one-sided. Rough night for Don Thompson Jr. tonight. He still sits third in the Castro Point standings. Kerry Mix now in fourth on the strength of tonight's third place finish. There's a congratulations from Mix to Scott Steckley as he steps on the top step of the podium here in St. Estache. The Kodak 250 from St. Estache, Quebec has been brought to you by Castro Syntec. Unlock the power. Mopar, authentic performance. And by Duplicolor, the premium brand leader in automotive paints, primers, and coatings.
Ah, uh, there's the top three, and the smile says it all. Mr. Dominance, Scott Steckley. So the next stop on the schedule, the A&W 300 from Sun Valley Speedway. From all of us at James Robinson Associates, we'll see you there.